So the types of pollution that you're going to see, most likely see on your AP environmental exam is air pollution. Now we have two types of air pollution. One, point source air pollution, and second, non-point source air pollution. So point source air pollution is pollution that comes from a place where it's identifiable. It's a, it comes directly from the source and we could actually observe or see it. So a couple examples would be uh, large factories, electric power plants, and erupting volcanoes. That would be a, a natural source. In terms of non-point source air pollution, uh, that's pollution that comes from a widespread area, where essentially it forms from the combination or change from the original point source air pollution. Okay, um, so we're gonna look at a couple examples. All right, so in terms of our primary pollutants, you have uh, the main ones that you should know, you should be familiar with, particulate matter which is your solid and liquid. These are your fine particles that are uh, 2.5 micrometers or less. So also known as PM 2.5. Of course, they, are, um, they have a, a particle size of 10 micrometers or greater, otherwise known as PM 10. So those would be like, for example, your soot, your dust particles, sand, any type of solid particles that you can find, um, debris from debris from from uh, construction materials that get up in, that goes up into the air, asbestos, anything that's small and solid. Right. Um, the other example we have sulfur dioxide, right, and we have natural and um, anthropogenic sources for sulfur dioxide. You have nitrogen oxides, also known as NOx. Then you have volatile organic compounds, UVOCs, which come from incomplete combustions of uh, engines, uh, motors. Then you have carbon monoxide and then lead. So in terms of the sources, for example, uh, a natural source would be, say, from volcanoes, right? Uh, you no know, volcanoes emit carbon dioxide and also uh, sulfur dioxide. Then uh, you have your stationary sources, which would be anthropogenic. So your stationary source would be your factories, electric power plants, and your mobile sources would be your typical cars, trucks, anything that that it's a mode of transportation. Now, essentially, some of these primary pollutants can be converted into secondary pollutants. For example, we have uh, sulfur trioxide, sulfuric acid, ozone, sulfate. Okay, so for example, if you had sulfur dioxide and in combination with water, you get sulfuric acid. Right? Or nitrogen dioxide, in combination of water, you get nitric acid. So sulfuric acid, and nitric acid are what we call our secondary pollutants and also they're known as forms of acid rain.